Guys, I am genuinely so excited today. So Google hooked your boy up with the 8 Pro Google Pixel Watch 2 as well as the Buds Pro all in this blue color. So Google know how much I love the blue color. So thank you so much for this. I'm excited to do my full unboxing and review video for this. So if you haven't already, hit subscribe, stick around for that. Wow, look at the difference between the blue on the 7A and the 8 Pro. I'm actually digging this more rich, darker blue. It's, it's really more of a baby blue than this originally was. This is more of like a white blue. So anyway, let's talk about what you guys came here for, the top 10 Android apps for November of 2023. Can I just say there's only one more video, which is December, and then it's 2024. That's crazy. So if you guys have any goals left for the year, make sure you complete them before January. But yeah, let's just talk about my home screen a little bit. So I have this blue wallpaper with my theming set to blue as well. So I've got the blue cards in my notification panel, blue clock, everything's kind of blue right now. I'm kind of liking it. Blue was never my favorite color. It was always like a color I disliked, but now I seem to like it. So the first app on the list is Adaptive 14 for KWGT. So this is a widget add-on pack for KWGT Pro, and it's got 80 widgets in here. They're all kind of Material U inspired, very googly. A lot of them are like clock widgets, weather. You also have media playback widgets and various app shortcuts. But overall, I like the style of them. And something great is they adapt to match the color you have set on your device. So if you have the theme set to blue, all the widgets are gonna be blue. So this widget right here on my home screen, this is one of the ones from the pack. And I think it looks great. It looks very stock almost, but a little bit different at the same time. Then on the second screen, I have this weather widget here. And again, looks very stock. I really like the way it looks, looks really clean. And it just adds a bit of variety because you don't have that much choice built into stock Android. So if you're looking for more variety, check out this app, link will be down below. Number two on the list is Dockalizer. This one brings a floating dock to your device. If you hold down the power button, it will pop up with this dock rather than your Google Assistant. And you can go ahead and quickly switch between apps. So it saves you having to go back to the home screen and then search for the app you want. So inside the app, you can choose the transparency of the dock as well as the icon size, whether it's curved or boxy. This section here allows you to tweak which apps are in the dock. So you could have it set so it just shows your recent apps or you can manually select the apps inside the dock. So you just click on them up here. You can choose which ones you have in which order and you can completely customize it. You can also change how many applications are in the dock. And yeah, I just think it's pretty cool. It brings some extra functionality to your device and it looks pretty clean. So yeah, if you're looking for something like this, go check it out, link will be down below. Next up is app number three, which is AirDroid Parental Control. So for any parents out there, this is gonna come in so handy because you're able to monitor and track your kid's device. In order for this to work, you actually need two apps. So you need the AirDroid Parental Control app as well as AirDroid Kids. So the AirDroid Kids is what you install on the target device that you wanna track. And the Parental Control one allows you to view all the information from that device. Once you've installed the app on the target device, you can then go ahead and track the location of the device. So if your kid is maybe going to school by themselves or they're walking back from a friend's house, you can live see where they are just to make sure they're safe. This app will actually go ahead and duplicate every notification on the target device and it will pop up on your own device and you're able to scroll through them all and view them and make sure that there's nothing suspicious going on. Inside the app, there is this remote operation section. So you have remote camera, screen recording, and one-way audio. This allows you to tap into the target device and actually view through the camera or view the screen, as well as listen in through the microphone. Inside this app list section, you can view all the apps installed on your kid's device, and it will actually notify you when new apps are installed, and you can see all the recently added apps up at the top here. If you select one of the apps on the list, you can actually go ahead and see the app usage, so how much time they spent inside the app on what particular day. One of the most powerful parts of this app is the usage limit section. So you can go ahead and disable apps at a specific time, and you can also enable a screen time limit, which will actually lock your kid out from using the device too much. And if you have multiple kids and multiple devices you wanna track, you can add them all within this app and view all of them. And you can even share the app with other parents. So if you wanna check it out, the link will be down below and there's also a discount code and a free trial, so go check it out. Number four on the list is called URL Check. And if you're often downloading apps through Discord chats or WhatsApp via links, then this might be something to check out. So this actually goes ahead and sets your default browser 
and then it will check all the URLs you click on. So when you click on one, it will pop up with this box. You can check the status of a URL. If it's shortened and one of those online shorteners, you can unshorten the link and see the true URL. But then also you can apply HTTPS if it doesn't already, and then you're good to go. So you can fully check whether the link is safe. And once it is, then you can visit the website as normal. Number five on the list is APK Updater. So if you often download Android apps from the internet, you'll know that there isn't any update support. So you just have to constantly go back and check whether there's new versions. So APK Updater basically searches the web for you and alerts you when there's a new update for one of your apps. And you can go ahead and just update it in here. Pretty simple. You can also go ahead and choose which sources it searches for. So you could search GitHub, APK Mirror, Aptoid, just all your usual kind of third party app stores. And there's also a root install option, but I'm not rooted, so I'm not using that. But overall, this is a great way of just making sure those third party apps are up to date. Next up is battery monitor. So this is a great way of finding out lots of information about the battery inside your phone, as well as the charging status. So you can see your battery level, the remaining time on your device, the temperature, you can also view the voltage, whether your health is good or bad on your battery. And there's this long life mode. So if you're out and about and your phone is getting low on power, you can enable this and it will disable all the power draining features like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, your haptics, and it will even lower your brightness. There's a few different modes you can choose from. There's also a classic mode as well, which intelligently adapts the settings to make sure you preserve battery life. And then there's also this custom mode at the bottom. So you can enter in a time frame in which it disables all the heavy power consumption features. And then after the time frame, it will turn them back on again. Number seven on the list is called Hark. I'm a massive fan of podcasts. I love learning things from them and I find them really interesting. They help me get to sleep. I like listening to them in the car. They're so convenient. They're just better than radio. It's like what radio was, but it's just so much better because you can choose exactly what the discussion is about. But inside of Hark, it summarizes long podcasts into short, manageable clips. So you can go ahead and find out some really important information in a short period of time. And it's also great for finding out what podcasts are good. So if you like the short clip, you can then go listen to the full podcast. But inside here, you have this home section with all your recommended short clips that you can listen to as well as popular ones. Then there's this explore section. So you can go through various topics like history, business, technology, and find the perfect podcast that you're interested in. So overall, a great app, it's completely free. And the link will be down below. Number eight on the list is called WallWow, and this is a great wallpaper app. So inside of here, you have a great selection of high quality wallpapers. There's also a for you tab, so it will kind of tailor the color and the theme of the wallpapers to what you're interested in. And there's also this trending section here as well. One of the coolest things though, is this custom button at the bottom. So it's like a crayon, and this allows you to make custom wallpapers. So you can make custom vector graphic wallpapers with all these vector icons, similar to like what Google has to offer. There's also the option to make gradient wallpapers. So you can choose the direction and where the gradient effect is, and you can also change the color. So you can use these sliders to manipulate it and make the perfect gradient wallpaper for you. You can directly set the wallpapers inside the app. You can download them into your gallery as well as favorite them to find them later. And overall, it's just a really nice wallpaper app. Number nine is called Repainter, and this is actually a pretty sweet app. So if you often use the Material U theming where you can change the colors, this app will be super good for you. So inside of here, you can actually pick a custom color to set as your Material U theme. So you don't have to rely on Google with their select colors or picking the wallpaper color. You can just go in here and manually enter the color you want. So you could pick from a huge range of colors in here. Once you've selected the custom color, it will apply just like it would inside the standard settings app when you're selecting your color theme. And then you can see it in your notification panel, in your stock apps, it's gonna be that color you selected, but you just have a lot more choice inside this app to the ones that you have in the settings. And the last app on the list is called Gesture Suite. So this one's pretty cool. There's a few different functionalities inside the app. The first is you can obviously go ahead and draw gestures like it is in the name, and that will allow you to quickly launch apps. So if I draw a C, I could go have it launch like my camera here. And there's a gesture gallery. So you can create a bunch of custom gestures to open up whichever app you want. And they're easily accessible by swiping in from the side of the screen. But I think the coolest thing in this app is the sensors section. So inside of here, you can turn on air gestures and there's a few different options. You have like double wave, triple wave, long wave, 
And basically, whenever you wave your hand over your phone, it's gonna go ahead and activate whichever action you've set up. So if you set it up to open up a specific app, then when you wave your hand across your phone, it's gonna open. If you set it up to toggle playback, then it will start playing. You can go ahead and also turn on the shake feature. So inside here, you can turn on shake, click on this section here to add a task. Let me just toggle the flashlight. Then we turn it on. And now, once I go ahead and shake my phone, it's gonna turn on the flashlight just like that. Pretty neat. So yeah, overall, that is it. That's my 10 Android apps for November of 2023. And remember to stick around for that Pixel 8 Pro video and also the Pixel Watch 2. Genuinely so excited to test out these devices. I'm a huge Pixel fanboy. So yeah, you're gonna see a lot of content coming from me. Stick around for that, and I will see you guys later. Peace.